morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I work in the horse trailer division here at TransWest. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right up I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. And today we're a little bit smoky and overcast. Um, so we don't have our clear mountain views that we usually do, but we've got a really nice trailer to go through. Um, so this is right here, we've got a trade-in. So even though this trailer looks brand spanking new, it is a 2019 three horse cowboy package with mid tack. the Logan Co. Try It. So this trailer was a trade-in um, that we just got in and the owners used it just a few times um, before deciding they wanted a few more amenities and they upgraded to a Logan living quarter. So this little cowboy package is gonna be really, really great for somebody that wants to have something that they can take up to the mountains, maybe not have to worry about winterizing and dewinterizing, dumping tanks. This trailer is dry, so it doesn't have any, any water on board. Um, so you won't have to mess around with, with freezing lines or anything like that, but you do have the AC and the catalytic um, wall heater to keep you nice and warm if you're going out to the mountains to enjoy a nice weekend of trail riding. So right up here, you'll notice all this, all this black lining we have. So Logan is a galvanized steel, steel frame with aluminum sheeting. And this, this coating they have on it is called Vortex. So it's very similar to a, to a Rhino lining. And anywhere they've got that galvanized steel on this trailer, they do coat it in this Vortex. And it acts as just a protectorate for the trailer um, so that you don't have any issues with surface rust or anything like that. Um, Logan actually infuses iron into their, um, into their uh, galvanized steel frame. So you're able to have something that is very strong and um, also resistant to rust. So this, this frame, you'll see that coating in a lot of places. It just helps protect it. And it, it honestly makes it look really nice and clean and gives it a sharp look. So right under here, you've got an electric over hydraulic jack. So this was an upgrade that they decided to go with on this trailer. Um, so for this trailer being 23 feet, four inches on the floor, um, it's a good sized trailer to have to crank up and down. So they made it their lives a lot easier by just having that hydraulic crank or that hydraulic jack, which will just zip up and down, make hooking your trailer up and taking it off your truck very easy. You'll notice you have your two battery boxes up here. Um, so that you do have the ability to run your lights and um, use this more as a tack room setup. If you don't have a, a tack shed to store all your stuff in, you can, there's plenty of room on this trailer with that mid tack that you can use this as your tack shed and you can have lights on board um, so that you can see in the dark. You do have a battery disconnect switch right here. I've got it on right now so that we can um, kind of play with the lights and you can see how how well well done this trailer is. Right here you do have your propane tanks. That is for the heater. So if you're camping and it's a little bit colder up in the mountains or um, you want to extend your show season a little bit without having to book a hotel room, um, these propane uh, tanks will keep you nice and warm um, with that catalytic wall heater. This one, oh, and this right here is that hydraulic jack right there, um, the switch for it. So right here, um, so you do have an AC on board. So if you've got a little, little generator that you can bring along with you, um, or if you're at some campsite um, that, has, that has 30 amp power available, you can run that AC with just a short cord here. Nice little option, very comfortable to stay in. So right here, they did a five foot mid tack and you've got two swing out saddle racks on this trailer. Um, she's got three saddle racks per post, but we do have the option to add a fourth if you've got a ton of saddles you wanna keep in here. Um, like I said, this trailer doubles really well as a tack room. So you've got a lot of space um, to store all of your stuff. They just slide back in nice and easy. Um, you've got a brush box on each door, as well as swing out blanket bars. Um, so it's really well equipped to be very usable. 
In here, they've lined um, the carpet with bridle hooks above along each wall. So if you've got a lot of, a lot of bridles and halters you need to hang up, there's plenty of storage for that. Right up here, you do have a clothes rod. So if you're going to a show, um, you can hang up all your dress shirts there and your show shirts there and they'll stay nice and clean and, and uh, not look like a piled heap on the floor. And then right here, they did a, a big blanket bar. So if you've got, it's a little bit colder time of year, you're traveling with, with rugs on your horses, um, this is a great place to put them and keep them nice and clean without having to tangle them up or fold them up in the corner. And then you do have LED lights on each door, and they, <clears throat> there are controls for each light at each door, so you can switch those on and off. You can also manipulate the lights um, individually so that you can control if you only want one light on or off. So this, this mid-tack is set up really, really great for somebody that, that wants to be very comfortable in, this tra in their trailer. So right here, You'll notice that on this trailer, you've got the aluminum wheels. Um, that is an upgrade for the, for the Logan. We did, um, when Logan built this trailer, they did rotate the axles down. So you'll notice you have more clearance. Um, so when you rotate the axles down, you actually lift the trailer up. Um, so if you are going on some of those rocky roads, you're gonna have a lot easier time um, getting in and out of, of those washboard, t difficult, more technical sections. So if you'll pan up, you'll notice that we have a hay rack up top. Um, if you've got a tractor, it makes it really easy to load it up there. Uh, if you've got some extra stuff you need to store that you don't really want to store in your mid-tack, you can also throw it up there nice and easy and clean. Just some great extra storage. And then on the hip side here, we do have some big bus windows. Um, there is a lot of airflow that's able to get in and out of these trailers. Uh, so your horses will be very comfortable going down the road. This is an upgrade I really like that's on the, this Riot trailer, and that's um, they've got windows in the rear doors. So if you're going down the road, air and keeping your horses cool is one of our biggest challenges for horse trailers. And so having these big windows on these rear doors, you can have the windows open and you can have that air move all the way over the tops of your horses so they can stay nice and cool instead of just having it get sucked right up out the windows. So that's. That's something that I really like, a little option. We do have a load light up above, so you've got lights on each side. Um, it just makes it, once again, very easy to load your horses in and out. They're not having to jump into a dark trailer. It can be very scary. Um, you know, horses always, they are prey animals, so they, they're always looking for something that's coming to get them. So having it nice and light and bright makes it a little more inviting for them to get in and out. We did do a ramp on this trailer um, to get in and out. So the horses, um, you've got a nice non-slip surface here. If you zoom in, uh, it's a rubberized coating. It's got lots of traction. Just makes it very easy, especially on more slippery days when it's wet out for those horses to get in and out. You've got the two doors here. Um, you can open just one, but if you've got a horse that's maybe a little claustrophobic, it's nice to be able to clip both of these back and load them in without having to worry about not having enough space. All right. Big butt, butt strap so that when you open those doors, you don't have someone come flying back out at you. It's just a nice safety feature. So we did have mangers on this trailer. Um, so your horses, as you're going down the road, if you're like me, you hate messing with uh, uh, hay bags and having to stuff them on the road. You can just throw feet up here for your horses. Um, they can munch away happily without having to scrape up the sides of your trailer with a hay bag. Right here, if you ever wash this trailer out, um, these mangers are, able, are set up to drain. So this drain just goes straight out to the floor, um, straight out to the street. So you can just rinse those out, keep your trailer nice and clean. And I just want to point out once again, this is a 2019. It is in immaculate condi condition. I bet once we get it really cleaned up and through our shops, you're not even going to notice that a horse was ever in here. Right above here, um, we do have a little bolster pad so that as your horses are walking out of the trailer, if they get a little head high and they bump their heads, they're not going to knock themselves silly. 
padded dividers. Really easy to open and close. This trailer is 7.3 wide, so you do have a little bit more space, especially with those mangers in there. These horses are going to have a really comfortable space for those especially bigger horses that you've got on here. And they are 40, they are 40 inch tall, so they're a little wider than standard. So up front, since we do have an escape door, um, we do just have a feed bag up front so that you can still have a, a way to feed that horse that's in that very first stall. Some people still use this first stall for some extra storage. And if you want to use it as, as more of a stud divider extra storage, we can get a bolt-on kit um, that'll allow you to extend this divider down to the floor. One of the things I love about these Logans, um, my favorite feature about these Logans, is their floor system. This is the whiz-proof floor with the SureGrip coating. So this floor right here actually drains. Um, so if your horses, if you're going down the road, I know a lot of people that have horses that have allergies and sometimes shavings blowing around, that dust can really aggravate them, especially if you're going for a longer ride. So the nice thing about this floor is you don't have to throw shavings down. Um, it's a non-slip surface. You don't have to worry about pulling mats out and cleaning it out. You can just take a power washer and, or a hose and, and rinse it out at the end of your ride and it's good to go. Um, your solids will be a little bit drier and easier to scoop out because there's actually air that's coming up through those floorboards um, that, that helps dry some of that manure out. And then the urine will just drain straight through. Um, so it's a really, really great system. We've had a lot of luck with it. Uh, Logan has done some studies and they find that horses are a little bit more comfortable on this sure grip flooring because they don't have, no matter how tight you fit mats, they're always gonna move just a little bit. So having this floor that's solid and not able to move underneath their feet makes them a lot more comfortable and it makes them more secure about their footing. So if you zoom in right here, you'll see there's aluminum slats. This is how this floor is composed underneath. You've got aluminum slats. It's coated in this vortex lining here. And you've got the um, SureGrip rubber flooring right on top of that. Super easy to clean. Usually people that buy Logans, they never go back. They'll always buy another Logan because they love that floor system. So you've got your hay rack right here um, to lead, or your ladder to lead up to your hay rack right there. And there are water tanks we can get that we can throw up on the hay rack if that's something you, you'd be interested in, or we can get one to throw in the mid-tack. Um, right here you've got some big mangers, and we do have a light in the manger so that at night if you're um, scrambling around to try and find things, you can, you can easily see in here. It's coated in that vortex and it does have a drain down at the end, so if you need to ever hose this out, something spills in there, that's easy to do. These windows right here, these drop downs I'm a big fan of, they're really easy to use. So especially as somebody who's not very strong, admittedly, um, I really like how these function. You've got a lot of framing on these windows. They're very big. And if you're not very tall and very strong, they're super easy to operate. You just pull straight down on this right here. And then these, since there's a lot of framing, you can actually hook that back and you can run with these down. Um, and your horses, have a, a fly screen right here so that they don't you don't have to worry about road debris getting in their face. I know a lot of people throw fly masks on their horses, but that can be a little irritating sometimes, so it's really nice for them to have that option. And then this center post, you just pull straight down and you can go and throw more hay or anything like that, check on the horses, hook up halters, um, all that good stuff. Oops. <laughs> Save that for the blooper reel. Um, more LED lighting up above. Once again, I talked about this is your escape door here. So if you do want to use it as a little bit more storage, you can. And then here's that second saddle rack we discussed earlier. Big mid tack. That's probably one of my favorite things about this trailer is there's just so much tack space. I know that when we, when we start adding more com creature comforts in the living area. Um, sometimes our tack area gets forgotten. And for somebody that wants a manageable size trailer with a lot of storage, this is a great way to go. 
So they did the cowboy package, but they deleted the plumbing on this trailer. But you still get a lot of really cool features like this little sliding door, screen door here. Um, you've got the uh, day night shades on all the windows. Um, they're in great shape. Right up in here, you've got a boot box. You throw a lot of bedding down there. Um, they, the people that, that owned this trailer before, they were one of the nicest customers I've ever had. And they, they oiled all the wood before they brought it here. They vacuumed everything out. So this is in just number one great shape. Right here, you have all your fuses and breakers. Everything's labeled. One of the really cool things about this trailer is they've actually got a solar battery tender here on this so that you can um, almost trickle charge your batteries. It'll, it'll just kind of help maintain them, give you a little more juice. Um, up in that corner there, we do have a max air fan. So you've got your controls right here. The nice thing about those fans is if you're not connected to a 30 amp power source, you can run your max air fan um, and stay nice and cool throughout the night. Lots of closet storage. Just really, really well maintained. Mm -hmm. Great place to hang some clothes. So even though you don't have water on this trailer, it's really nice to be able to um, have some extra plumbing. Yep. So you right down here, you have your catalytic wall heater. So that'll keep you nice and warm. That's what those propane tanks up front help supply. And then right above here, you do have an AC with heat strip. So it's a direct blow. Um, you can just really aim the air where you need to. Um, this is a smaller space. So you're gonna have plenty of AC to cool this place off if you're connected to some power. And then you have LED lights throughout this whole thing. So you're gonna be nice and bright um, as you're going down the road or staying in it. All right, for, so for those of you that really like this trailer setup, you want something used, but that's in really great condition. This is a super option. Um, you know it's well maintained. Our shops will go through it, even though we can see that it's in great shape. Our shops will still go through and check brakes, bearings, all the safety features on this trailer, make sure everything is working and in, in great condition. Um, so you know that, that this will be a great trailer for you to pull down the road. For if, if you have any other questions, the stock number on this trailer is 5U200-870. It's a 2019 Logan Coach Riot three horse gooseneck. If you guys have any more questions for me, my name is Callie Say. You can call me at 970-309-6368. We can discuss this trailer or any others that we have. Thank you.